Ciao friends, and welcome to a new Unplugged video from SQL BI. Now, most of my Unplugged videos, most of the videos that I create indeed, they also always start from the question from a customer or from a user on the web or some common problem that everybody faces and I try to find a solution. This time is different because nobody ever asked, asked me to uh, do a video like this. I just uh, had an idea and uh, I wanted to check whether this works or not. So we are going to investigate on the idea and uh, it's up to you then to tell me whether all the content of the video is useful at all or not. So let me start with uh, the idea. Um, with Power BI, you can build a report. So you have uh, a report, you add a slicer, let's say that you select colors from the slicer, and the slicer filters the report, showing only the selected colors. That is fine, it's good, it's exactly what everybody wants. But what I wanted to do is to be able to show in the same report not only the selected colors, but also the not selected colors, the other ones, as another column and maybe a third column that shows uh, the grand total so that you can dynamically pick colors from a slicer and the report shows you the selected ones, uh, then other colors uh, and uh, the, all the colors together. That can be solved quite easily with uh, a calculation group. The code is not hard, so this is not going to be a very complex unplugged, but it's just to investigate on uh, the idea. Let me show you that with uh, a demo. It's probably, it's likely to be easier to understand if uh, we start working with Power BI. I have this report that is showing by brand, the sales amount, and then I have colors. Now I can pick a selection of colors and you see that the numbers, they do change reflecting the selection that happened on the slicer. But what if I want to show as another column here, not the selected colors, but the other ones. And then I want a third column that shows uh, the value of all the colors. And this needs to happen for any measure that I plan to use in the report. That is why I want to use a calculation group to, to solve that. So uh, let's do that. Let's create a calculation group that show the selected colors the other colors and then the all colors. We need tabular editor and uh, the selected colors that is going to be very simple because we only need to call the selected measure. Okay, let's place tabular editor on the other monitor and let me create the first calculation group. We call it uh, uh, show colors okay show colors now it will contain three calculation item at the end one is selected colors now selected colors doesn't need to do anything fancy it just can call selected measure a bit larger and that's it. Let me save it just to check that everything is working. I have refresh. I have my show colors here. I put it in the matrix and now it shows the selected colors. Nothing changed in the number. If I use it or not, nothing is going to change, which is exactly what I would expect. Next, I want to build another column that is another value for the calculation item here that will contain the opposite of the selection. So what I need to do is uh, grab uh, the selection made on uh, the colors and uh, invert it. So I will take uh, all the colors, the selected colors, and remove the selected colors from all the colors, and then I use the result of this calculation as a filter. <clears throat> so we need a new calculation item that we call other colors. I need the selected colors, selected colors, 
which is uh, values of uh, product color. Actually, not values, because if I use values uh, and I place uh, the color in the matrix, uh, I will be in trouble. I want uh, calculate table, calculate table. Values or product color for all selected. That will provide me the selected colors in the slicer. Then I want all the colors. And that's easy, just all product color. And then I compute at this point other colors by using except from the from all the colors i remove the selected colors what remains in other colors are the other colors finally i can compute the result which is calculate the selected measure for the other colors return result that should be it let me save it go back to power bi refresh it here we are other colors and selected colors uh, i don't know the numbers but i don't want to see other colors before selected colors i want selected colors to be before other colors fixing this is easy just uh, drag and drop, I take selected colors, uh, drag it earlier, then I save it, go back to Power BI Desktop, refresh, now I like it, selected colors first, other colors here, and it's nice, if I don't make any selection, selected color shows everything. If I select black, brown, green, pink and white you see that selected colors show value and other colors shows a different value now i wanted the third column for all the colors so let's do that we want a third calculation item that we call all colors and that is just calculate uh, the selected measure uh, remove filters from product color whatever filter is there we get rid of it okay save it yes go ahead go back to power bi desktop refresh it and now we have selected colors other colors all the colors which is uh, cool as i said it might be completely useless but uh, i don't care i mean i like the solution still i don't think it's uh, really working uh, let me check it uh, on the monitor because it's working right now let's select only black blue and azure I'm scared that if I place the color on the rows, it will stop working. Let me check it. Um, get rid of the brand. I use the color on the rows. And, uh, well, I don't know whether it's working or not, but you see, we have a selection for color. <coughs> It's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do is something like this. I want show colors. <coughs> so I have the selected colors, Azure, black and blue. Other colors, all colors. Well, <coughs> that is definitely not what I want to happen. I would rather see the selected colors here, Azure, black and blue. But for other colors, I want to see brown, gold, green, gray, and so on. And the problem is 
that the value is correct, but uh, it shows Azure black and blue, and also for all colors, Azure black and blue. That does not make a lot of sense. The problem here is uh, auto exist, because uh, uh, if you place the filter on uh, the color column, summarized columns will never be able to see the other colors because the filter is being applied very early during the calculation. So what I need to do is avoid filtering the color column. I can make this work, but I need an additional table to make it work the proper way. Let me do that. Uh, let me do that. If I want to build a report that shows selected other and all colors, I cannot use a color to place a filter. I need to place the filter on a separate table and use that table to show the colors. So what I need to do is create a new table. Uh, where is new table? Modeling new table. Okay, let's call it colors. A bit larger. Where I use all no blank row of product color. Okay. Then we take product, we take colors. We have a few options here. Well, the first will be to build a relationship between colors and the product so that the filter on colors will not actually filter product because of auto exist. I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, I can uh, I can try to do different things. One is uh, avoid using this color and instead using this color on the rows. That already is working. Azure black and blue, and I don't see the value here which is probably more than enough because I still place the filter on the color column, which is the one that is most likely to be used by users. But I use uh, the colors column here. So the selected colors are Azure black and blue. And if I get rid of black, you see that black disappears and appears under other colors. And then under all colors, I have all the colors here. And now this is working uh, just because uh, why are you so short? Okay, just because uh, these are two different tables. So auto exist is no longer here. Actually, I could make the solution more complex, uh, placing the filter on the other table, but I don't see a reason to do that. So just by using a colors table and use that on the rows instead of the other one, that shows uh, is cool enough. So we can now get rid of it. Put it again on the columns, put the colors on the rows, and now you see we have the color, whether it's selected, it belongs to other, or it's in the other colors. Or the usage that I think people will do the most is to use other columns, like uh, the category. So audio in the selected colors, other colors, and all the colors. Well. As you have seen, the solution was not hard to implement, just a couple of set functions. And uh, I don't know what you think about it. I find it a nice solution. Maybe for Exploration BI, when you want to inspect values and you want to categorize uh, your products or your entities uh, in different ways, uh, in a dynamic way. You give a user the option of choosing, of picking uh, some colors or some uh, columns uh, from uh, uh, your table, some values of columns from a table, and you quickly split between uh, selected, others, and all the colors just using a calculation group. If you think uh, this might be useful in your report, just let me know because I'm utterly curious to discover whether this is just uh, my feeling that this is cool or it might actually be useful for somebody. That's enough for this Unplugged. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, enjoy DAX. Mm -hmm.